What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about the massive hit Squid Game. Everyone's talking about it, it's all over social media, Netflix says that it's their number one show of all time, it is absolutely crazy how much this show has dominated the conversation. We're going to talk about how a lot of these sites are treating it because as they always do, when something becomes popular, they love to spin their identity politics nonsense narrative around it. And that's exactly what they're doing with Squid Game. Now, we often hear whenever people like me criticize nonsense coming from Hollywood with their identity politics driven garbage, we often hear, well, they're just upset because it doesn't have a white guy in the lead role or it doesn't have any prominent white character, so they're upset. That's an absolute lie, and you're a piece of shit if you make that argument. Because I just watched Squid Game, and I loved it. I loved every single second of it. It is awesome. It is brutal. It is hard to watch at times, but it is excellent storytelling. You have no big-time stars in this uh, series at all. You have no big-time stars. And yet, here we are being pulled into the story because of the storytelling, because of the acting. It's incredible what you can do when you don't produce garbage and then you try to just shove people into your story so you can have the right representation because that's almost always going to fail miserably because there is no substitute for good storytelling. So Hollywood always tries to create a story and then they want to push their nonsense into the story so they can claim they have representation. Yet here we are with Squid Game, a Korean film that, guess what, has no prominent white characters in it at all. Wow. Amazing. How is that possible? It's possible because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's in it. It doesn't matter what type of race or gender or story is in it as long as it's a good story, as long as it's properly told. And that's exactly what happened with Squid Game. It was a proper story with interesting characters. And it was well done and it made you care about these characters. I highly recommend this series. Highly recommend it. It's nine episodes. Most of the uh, episodes are about an hour long, so it's a pretty long watch. But... We often hear this nonsense from the mainstream sites, the uh, shill sites out there, the identity politics driven SJW sites. They always want to talk about how we need less white people in these movies. We need less white males leading our movies. Well, you don't have any in this one. And guess what? Now, now they're whining because Squid Game... The women deserved better than their supposedly heroic acts on screen. You see how they do this? Are you paying attention? This is what they do. They continue to move the goalpost. They continue to change the argument. At first, it's, oh, we just need less white dudes in it. And all of these YouTubers are mad when there's no white people in it. That doesn't matter to me, and that doesn't matter to the majority of people that talk about this stuff. What matters is good storytelling. And guess what? Guess what? Squid Game has good storytelling. And that's all that matters. That's all anybody cares about. That's it. You have another article from here from The Gamer. It's kind of weird how much Squid Game hates women. Oh, it hates women. No, what it does is it respects women, not in the meme way, in the real way, in the real way that they should be by acknowledging that men and women are different. Shocker, because they are. Amazing. It's amazing what happens when you don't pander to these losers like Stacey Henley who is creating a problem that does not exist so she can then pretend to be offended over it because too many people are liking Squid Game. And you didn't get the pandering that you wanted. You didn't get the identity politics that you wanted. And instead of just celebrating a well-made story with really good actors, no, you have to complain about something that isn't a problem to begin with because that's what these losers do. And then you have, again, Saloon, the women in Squid Game deserved better. Oh, my God. In short, changing its female characters, the Netflix series also falls short in its critique of a capitalist society. So they didn't do enough. They didn't do enough of your nonsense. So then you're going to criticize it because these people don't know how 
to see something for a good story because they look at everything through an identity politics lens. They look at everything through race, gender, and sexual orientation. And if they can't build a narrative around that representation, then that representation is no good to them because it's not about representation. It's about using that representation to build a narrative around said representation. So when you have people that define other human beings off of these things, you know that you're dealing with a left-wing nut job, and you should not trust anything that they have to say. But going back to the show itself, again, I loved it. Everything about it is on point. I loved everything. Even the Some people have said they didn't like the ending. I'm not really sure why. I don't know what the problem was with the ending, but for me, had no problem with the ending. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say it's like breaking bad level of greatness or Sons of Anarchy level of greatness. It's really good. But I'm kind of on a high right now because I just got done watching it, and it's a good watch. I mean, I, I view it almost as a film because I just watched it all the way through pretty much over a few days. I binged it. But yeah, it is it is fantastic. I highly recommend this series, and everything about it worked for me. I loved everything from the aesthetic of it. They know how to create certain emotions just with the visual aspect of this and then the actors do a fantastic job as well and then creating certain relationships within squid guy squid game there's certain people that you wouldn't think would have a bond or a connection and then they build that connection but then there's other characters that you cheer for and you sympathize with but then at the same time there's other characters that you you really hate but then you turn out where you kind of like them but then there's other things that are attached to those characters that make you bond to them it's really well made it's a very good series it's a great series and i highly recommend it and the more people are out there crying about it when you have a korean film with an all korean cast and they're still screaming about lack of representation you understand what i've been saying for the past three years these freaks will never be happy they will never be satisfied nothing will satisfy a human being that is always looking at things through race and gender and this is the problem with hollywood they continue to pander to that nonsense they continue to push that nonsense and then when the story suffers because they're so worried about their fake representation bullshit and then they have a bad story produces a bad product and then fans like me tell them it's a piece of shit they want to blame us for it yet here you have a film with no known stars at least here in the west no known stars no white people that are prominently featured and here you have a fantastic story that generally everyone is enjoying because that's how it's done. All we're looking for is good stories. That's it. We don't care about representation. We don't care about seeing ourselves on screen. Not once did anybody watching this think about that, except for the freaks on these left-wing sites that are now trying to say that Squid Game hates women. Pieces of trash. These people are trash. They will always be trash, and they can go fuck themselves. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go check out Squid Game. I highly recommend it. Other than that, I also hope you go and follow us over on Twitch. I've been promoting the Geeks and Gamers Twitch channel for a while. We've been doing a lot of gaming over there. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, so I hope you'll join us over there. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Let's go, Brandon! And we will talk to you later.